I always thought I would become an astronomer. An astronomer. An astronomer. I had this unbelievable, you can't even imagine, interest, which I still have today, about how big the universe is, the planets. Because I once met a guy who was an astronomer when I was about seven, eight years old, and he sat on a park bench near my garden where we lived, and he was an astronomer. The other great influences on you, describe some of them, because I want to show some... Uh... Well, the influence on me Monet probably... Monet influence on you? They all, you know, Picasso, Monet, Chagall, all the other, other artists. Right there, the paint. This is Rembrandt. When I paint, I don't know what I'm painting till I, I paint it. Now, when I do Rembrandt, I know I'm painting Rembrandt, but most of the time when I do something, it's just any old thing. And it's just moving the arm, and, you know, it's like when you're in the street, you're humming. You don't know what you're going to hum next block, right? You're just humming a tune. What do, you, what do you mean you don't know what you're going to be doing I don't. I, I just love the action of putting the brush in the, in the paint and putting it on my canvas. Then I answer it with another brush stroke, another one, and then I know how to make something out of it. But it's not like I walk up to the canvas and say, I'm going to paint such and such. No way. When I do Taylor Swift, then I'm doing Taylor Swift. And if I painted you, it would be you. But when I'm not painting you or Taylor Swift or another person I'm painting, and I just want to paint for me, I pick up the brush. I've got 75, 76 colors on the uh, table, 76 jars from where you are to me, right. beautiful big jars. I pick up the brush. I don't know what, what color I'm going to pick. Suddenly I'm picking up a little bit of red. I put it up here. Then I answer it with a little bit of yellow. And before you know it, I'm fabricating something I like. And before you know it, maybe it's a vase with flowers. It's abstract. And I love that freedom. It's that, like, book, that book that you brought in. Yeah. It's got everything about me. It's, it's already in its second printing. Uh, they sold like 200,000 books. But further up are, sure. you see this, Toulouse Lautrec, who I always admired, and then I put his name in his hat. See it? You can read it, right? And when you were doing this, did you have a plan on this? Yeah. When I see, it's like this. Sometimes when you're taking a walk, you know where you're going, right? Because you're going right. someplace to meet somebody. And sometimes you're just going for a walk. You don't know where you're going. When I drew this, I didn't know what I was drawing. But I drew a planet and another big planet and something the size of Earth with a big sage behind there, you know, and I just loved where I went with it. But before I drew it, I didn't know I was going to go. Blank canvas, you did not have a plan again. Right. So I, I sometimes know what I'm doing, and sometimes I don't. Your art is influenced by your interest in astronomy. In astronomy, correct. Now, when I did this, I didn't know. I had these stars, and I, I, I had cut them out, and I placed them. And then I found this little angel of love, and I put this angel up there. And then I colored it up, but I could tell you when I started, I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't know I was going to do a whole field of stars, and I didn't know I was going to put an angel up in the universe when an angel needs air. The six presidents, explain that to me. I used to know Ronald Reagan before he was president. I once, listen to this, walked down the steps from the Metropolitan Museum, and un up comes opposite me a gentleman whose face I recognize. I go, oh my God, it's Ronald Reagan. And as I see him, he sees me, and he goes, Peter Max? I said, yes. He says, I own 35 of your works. How are you? Oh, my God, how are you? So, so he gave me his number next time in L.A. So I didn't go to L.A. for another six months. I'm very young. This is like many years ago. And so the next time I meet him, and he tells me I'm up at 62 pieces. And uh, I couldn't believe it. Then one day he runs for pre he was the, became the governor. Yes. I couldn't believe it. And then he became the president of the United States. I couldn't believe it. And one day I'm walking down the circular stairwell of my, I have a duplex, and Mimi, my assistant, says, Peter, it's Nancy Reagan. I go, get out of here. It's, I pick up the phone. Hi, Peter, how are you? <laughs> Do you know the president is going to be um, in, in March or in, in July 4th? He'll be already four or five months in the White House, January, February, March, April, May, June, right? July 4th is a big holiday. And do you still paint the liberties every July 4th? I said, yes. I says, you know about it? Of course, the president knows everything you do. She says, aren't you up to six this year? I said, yes, because I started in 76, 77, yes. 78, 79, 80. 81 was the first year, but it was a total liberty, yes. the whole, the body. And she says, would you paint it at the White House? And I said, I would love to. So we fly over there. And we bring six empty canvases. My uh, three assistants with me, they put them up. I had lightly penciled in so they all would be the same height. Yes. And I'm painting away at the White House. If this is the White House, that's the garden. And I'm painting away Statue of Liberties for Ronald Reagan. And suddenly there's four wide and maybe 100 deep soldiers marching around wow. the White House lawn. And they suddenly stop in front of where I'm painting. <laughs> and they open up two here and two here. Out walks Ronald Reagan. He goes, hi, like this. <laughs> and he comes up the steps. 
And he says, you're painting six. I love him. I love him. Oh. And you mind if I put a stroke? He was looking at my paints. He'd... I said, he puts a stroke. And I had two brush strokes like this. Yeah. He says, where? I says, copy that stroke. So I had two here, and he made another one like this. It matched. I still have that painting in my studio, one block from where we are. Well, I, you honor us by being here. You honor us by sharing that story. And um, you've had an incredible career. I'm, and I'm I wish you nothing grateful. but the best wow. and success in the future and good health. Thank, Thank you, you Mr. Buddy. Max. All the best to you. Same to you.